<laughs> lovely, lovely, just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first try. Try it. Afternoon, people. Hey, JT. Michelle, we've got something really special coming for you yep. this afternoon. It's one of three. And it's something we picked up on our travels. Yep. Over in Yeah. Blonde, extra intense. You extra intense? No. Handy. <laughs> oh, wow. 9% ABV. So, it's one of three of these different range we picked up. Uh, some of you all know that we've done the, the um, silver one before. Yep. Obviously, we picked up some more in a way. Um, one euro sixty each, absolutely still five hundred mil cad, crazy. They're both at seven point two, but this one I'd never seen nor heard of until last Friday. Well, I think I might have seen it once, but I probably thought I was seeing things because it is a Cronenberg at nine percent. Nine percent. We do actually have eleven Cronenbergs to go through, so this is the first one of the range. So I've done it in a Blanc glass because there's another the Cronenberg glass weren't quite in the state we thought was it no no not good to drink out of that one needs a good wash it would take more time to wash it than it would to do this <laughs> review shall we say if I'm honest so wow look at the colour look at that that actually looks like some beer doesn't it no. it's a really really rich amber colour I tell you what it, it looks to me like a Lucasade yeah it, it's <laughs> almost bordering on that orangey colour of Luke's though, so yeah, I'd agree with you there. That's a, that's a first. It is. <laughs> Doesn't happen often. <laughs> no, 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 not often enough. You don't, like to, don't like to acknowledge who the boss is, if I'm honest. But she kind of knows, don't you? Oh, okay, I went to take the picture, and I didn't. But I got it second time lucky, eh? So, people, there you are, yeah. <clears throat> now it's settling, it's not looking so like the colour of that as it was. It's got a really lovely carbonation running through there, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, that's a glass that we were fortunate enough to uh, to get in Malaysia, weren't we? Um, yeah. So, the camera. So I'm not talking. But yeah, it, it's gone a little bit more darker, isn't it, as, it, as it's settling out, but... Looks like an absolute beauty, doesn't it? I know nothing about this beer. As I say, I've possibly seen it once. I couldn't tell you a thing. There's no review in English. It's got that kind of Belgian beer smell to it. Well, the other one was kind of bordering on a Belgian beer. Yeah. Isn't it? Well, they are blonde beers, aren't they? Blonde, extra intense. So, I think it's like a, a French version of a triple. This one, yeah. because of it's so high in volume. I'm picking up a little bit of honey, a little bit of caramel in there. It does have a little bit of fruit, doesn't it, as well? But it doesn't... That one was going along the wires of me. We just only mm. did that some time yeah. ago. Well, I imported a load of them. But um, like I say, this is since 1947, you see? Mm. So, 50 CL can, 1 Euro 60. It's not bad, is it, you know? Can't knock that. Right, let's go in and try this. To get going, I've got it all on my nose, didn't I? What a wally I am, eh? I say this is one of 11 that we are doing. We even have Cronenberg IPA, Cronenberg Bio. Mm. Give it a swell, give it a swell, people. And the carbonation is, I don't know if you can see it in the thing, it's absolutely buzzing out, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Ooh. Yep, your, your, your blonde is there. You've got a lovely multi back backbone on this. I'm picking up a little bit of breadiness. I am picking up that lovely um, 
honey kind of flavour yeah. with a little bit of um, maybe apricot uh, fruit in there. What I am picking up on is a bit of a roasted almond taste to this. And it has that bang at the end, doesn't it? Mm. You are, it's really smooth and it, there is a creaminess to it as yeah. well. But then at the end you're like, ooh, and you know there's... A bang of alcohol there, didn't you? Yeah, it does. You, are, you are feeling that little bit of bite on the backbone of this. It is giving you that little bit of spiciness, that little bit of hit of alcohol, and a nice warming feeling as it goes down. Yeah, I mean, come on, the Cronenberg rubbish we get in England. This is different gravy, isn't it? Totally. This is absolutely different gravy, full stop. Um, wow. Um, mm. Did you pick up on the fruit in there? Oh. Lovely carbonation. Mm. It does have that. And it is like France's take on a Belgian blog. Yeah. This has got to be along the lines of a, of a triple because of the high volume. Now, the 9%, you're not getting that, but you do feel that bite at the end, don't you? Like, yeah. there's quite a, quite a sharpness at the end. In a nice way, but it is quite sharp, isn't it, at the end? Do you know, like, when you're having a Pilsner and you get that bang? You are getting that bite. You don't think you're getting the bite? Right at the end. Just I'm, like, I'm finding it as to you be swallow, a yeah. little bit more of maybe a peppery kind of spiciness. There's something a little bit spicy on the end of there that's a little bit more warming that mm. gives you that, that real compliment to the kick of alcohol that you're getting right at the end of this drink. It's got and glucose in it, if that helps. This is really... Just like the side. This is really, really well balanced out. You, can, you have got those sweet flavours at the beginning. I'm, I'm definitely going along with um, a little bit of honey in there, roasted almonds, a little bit of apricot maybe. Yeah, there's some caramel on the on the beginning there as well. Yeah, they are nice, sweet. quite sweet, but roasted flavours too. So they're not like predominantly really, really sweet. They um, that's nice. You're nine percent, just like with the seven point two. We haven't tried the gold one at all yet, so we're doing them all again in a way. Yeah. We were trying to do one a day, obviously, but then mm. Portugal turned up and so on and so on, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So we are trying to work through them, but it's going to take some beating, isn't it? But it's not nothing like a wheat beer, which I'm sure if I remember that one, but then that's because that's Blanche. Ah, that's Blanche Malty, that's Blonde Intense, mm. and that is Blonde Extra Intense. So this is a souped up version of this, ah, now I get it. Mm. So this could be a cracker as well, because this is a lighter version of that. that. So maybe we'll put some around with two of them together. Mm. I don't, we haven't bring that many cans, because I didn't know if it was dodgy. Now that is wonderful. That has got a lovely range of flavours going on there. Some of them sweet, some of them slightly roasted almonds, which is a combination yeah, of sweetness. Yeah, I don't know if it's almond, I'm not and, sure what yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> Well, is she the boss? But those those flavours are, are quite subtle on their own, but you're putting them all together and you're getting a lovely, lovely melody of flavours going on there. And it's... It's a nice, though, isn't it? It really is. Everything that you've got there is working well with every other flavour. They're all balancing each other off. They're giving you a lovely, lovely smooth drink. Yeah, and there's a lot going on, isn't there? Yeah. But the pack's a little 9%. bit of a spicy punch at the end. Lovely and warm feeling as it's going down. Yeah, but not not bad. There's, there's a nice, there's a bitterness, but it's nice, isn't it? Mm. But you do know. This could be a little bit heavy. Being nine percent, you could feel it's going down a little bit like treacle. This isn't the case with this. Right. It is smooth. It does travel down really nicely. It's it is still lovely. refreshing, despite having those complex flavours in there. Yeah, I mean, it's a hot summer's day today. You wouldn't do too many of these, would you? <laughs> You'd have to be out of your box, wouldn't mm. you? But, but it's blowing down quite well, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, that's a cracker. Um, we're doing the score sheets today. Mm. I mm. do like that. And it has that buzz at the end. Yeah. So you know you're getting something special. And you are getting something special, don't get me wrong. We haven't had a dodgy Cronenberg yet. I know there's one that we haven't reviewed yet that we did try and I'm going to give it, I rate my beer of eight. I'll put that up first. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, that's it. That's the definite eye all day long. That's a really, really good beer. You've got the wonderful smoothness, you get the bite of the alcohol and the spiciness at the end. Oh. Everything works well together. Um, Anyway, and it was that. super great value as yeah. well, really, wasn't it? One euro sixty, five hundred mils. Come on, that's what one pound. Yeah, if you if you pint. if you get found yourself on a day, day trip to Calais or France or something, uh, you see this stuff. It's well worth picking oh, up. Oh, if you want it's lighter brother, although we haven't tried it yet, it looks like that's that's going to be a lighter version of this. So, be interesting to try them up against each other. I'm sure we will, because we have more than one of them. One of them. Right. Thanks for watching. Bonjour. See you next time.